Hi and welcome to my greenhouse. I just thought I'd show you, uh, give you a quick update. Um, it is early May here in the UK and as you can see here the Saracenas are in full bloom although some of them are actually starting to go over and some are only just starting to actually come out like my Warrior Joe the Bullock here. As you see here we've got quite a few quite pinky sort of salmon pink ones at this end. These are all some fairly old Morries um, that I've had for a long time. Um, they've got some lovely new growth on at the moment. That growth must be about 18 inches or more tall. This particular one she can get up to about 30 inches in tall sometimes a, a pictures so it's really really nice. So we come along Again, you can see all the lovely, beautiful flowers. I do really love these Saracena flowers. They are really exquisite. A bit further along, we can see some of the nice pinky ones, or more red ones. Uh, so I think this is one of my Mori uh, Elizabeth, which is really nice. Quite a deep red there. Another lovely red one is this one down here, which is, uh, I think this is Devensi. Persuade it to actually focus on that. There's a nice big one here. Now this is off my um, Luco Red Tube Flavaracho Purpurea. As you can see here, here are pictures, and they're really starting to. I mean, this is just a new. A new picture and she's already got that deep deep red of her actual tube and this will actually turn almost almost blood red almost a purple color the more sun she gets so it's really quite spectacular got a nice yellow flower here uh, I think that's one of my uh, the flower crosses I've got uh, Poppy Flava Rubicorpora. Again, another nice red one back there. That's, I think, again, a uh, purple tube. Uh, sorry, um, Luca Red Tube. Going a bit further back, a lot of the ones over there off my Catespii are actually now going over the petals, are actually now starting to drop, which is a bit of a shame because they were really quite nice. Particularly yellow one here is off my flower purple tube and again she's really starting to to show her color actually coming through but again that will really deepen up and it'll go a really nice purple color uh, I've got an orophilia that's coming out now so she has a really nice yellow flower and a few little ones back here I think they are probably Joanna Bullock no, sorry, not Joanna Book, uh, Juthatic Soper. A few other yellow ones, that'll be Flavolata Red Lid. And there you can see that's one of her traps that's just come up. Not red just yet, but you can see the veining starting to develop there. And that'll again really darken, and the whole back of the throat of that becomes a deep red. It's really rather beautiful. Our Ophelia here, you can see, is in. Uh, full sort of trap bloom. She comes up quite early. And actually, she brings her traps up usually before her flowers, whereas most of the other pitchers tend to bring their flowers up before their pet traps do. Again, I think this is a flower lot of red lid. Again, she's not started to darken up yet, but she will do. I'm going a bit further back here. We've got some of my really nice Morris that have their really big flouncy red flowers. I mean this is this is a massive flower compared to most of the ones. As you can see here is another absolute beauty. I mean you can see by comparison with my hand that this is a really massive flower and it's really beautiful. About there are some more uh, flower lot of red lids and again you can see the traps behind facing away unfortunately. Again, they will darken up really beautifully, so I've got loads of those at the moment. 
way back in there, the little sort of white coloured flowers, that's Alata Alata. And I think it's a yellow flower, you can see the back off there, that'll be one of my flavas, possibly Flava Broadwalk. And these beautiful little ones in here, that's Rubra. I mean, she's got, a, by comparison with the Mori, her flowers are absolutely tiny, but they are the deepest red. Interestingly, the underside of the petals is virtually white, or sort of yellow. Whereas a lot of the inside of the petals of things like this one are very similar to the colour of the outside. So at the moment I'm doing quite a bit of tidying up, splitting a lot of my plants. So this absolute beauty here, who's already... Now, at least a couple of foot tall that particular trap um, this is a cross I bought ages ago so it's a Mori Elizabeth crossed with Flava Rubicorpora crossed with Flava Cupra really beautiful um, I'm not entirely sure what this one is actually oh, that's my Flava Rubri Alata Red Lid Again, this one looks really stunning when she's actually got her traps out. Um, at the moment they're quite undeveloped, but they're actually quite decent size. But again, because she's a flower, she's got a beautiful yellow flower there. That massive beast is another flower of Alata red lid. Whole tray of variety of ones there. These are some of the ones that unfortunately got quite badly uh, damaged outside in the real bad frost we had. As you see, I've been doing a lot of potting up recently. This tray is divisions of mostly um, rubra. So you see little rubra flowers again, another little tiny little rubra flower. But lots and lots of those sort of divided up. I think that's the Jathati Sopa, that nice red flower. And we've got another very interesting orange kind of flower here. And that's from uh, Cerasi the Poopy, which is a Flava Rubra cross, if I remember rightly. It's a very nice flower, that one. It stays a very nice orange colour. As we go back down this set of Saracenas, again, this is just the various trays of Saracena seedlings I've had and have grown. Some very nice ones here. Again, I think that's a, a Ruby Corpora flava. So it's got a beautiful red body. And again, this one actually, uh, when she develops in the sun, it does go again. This is a really bright red. It's really beautiful. Some Contespii crosses here. Some really nice ones. And some other little crosses here. Again, these are starting to Develop some really nice veining on the lids. And again, a few more little crosses here. Uh, interestingly, this little tray of seedlings here. These are the same age as the massive one I showed you at the end. These are possibly you know, three inches tall, maybe four inches tall. I'll bend that one a bit. But these are tiny by comparison to the other one. It's strange how sometimes seedlings one or two seedlings can absolutely suddenly shoot off and others can stay tiny for absolutely ages. But start, these are starting to actually now come and make a bit, of, a bit more size to them. Again, we've got another beautiful deep red flower there. I think that is probably again just at its sopa. And I've got a really nice tall picture here. With some beautiful veining starting. I think again that's the Mori Elizabeth uh, cross with um, Flava Rubicorpora and Flava uh, Cupra. So again that's really beautiful. It's got some nice subtle veining on the back of the throat there. I'm going to cut my little pepper ears. At the back here you can, can't see them very well but we've got some uh, Darlingtonia in flower, so Cobra Lilies. Dig a bit into that. Got a whole tray of them back here. This would be quite amenable to actually being a little bit in the shade. And it keeps their roots quite cool. 
they get the morning sun and they don't seem to mind. I these them really, really well this last year. That tray is what's left of my probably 200 plus Venus fly traps. All the rest succumbed to the really bad frost we had. But these ones have just about survived and they're starting to now put some nice growth on. Uh, if you've seen some of my previous videos, all the ones in my bulb plant on the patio, even though that was outside, they all survived. I think just because of the massive compost in the pot, whereas these guys in these small pots, they just couldn't take being frozen to the depth that they were. Some of my banana tea is coming out nicely. Um, unfortunately, it looks like my Madagascariensis has not survived. So I'll have to sow some more seeds for that, which is a bit of a shame, because I really like that one. This is an interesting flower I find. Um, it's got absolutely white petals. But it's a Ruber cross with a Chelsoni. Now this is a cross I did myself from my two plants. Um, both Ruber, as I've shown you before, has a really deep red flower. And so does Chelsoni, because I think Chelsoni is actually a Ruber... I can't remember what that is. Uh, it's a Ruber something cross. Um, Ruber purpura, I think. And they've both, all three of those, have got deep, deep red flowers. Whereas this one has come out absolutely bleach white. It's quite incredible. And a few more here. Here's my green anthocyanin free purpura. Which is really nice. And some little purpuras in there as well. Um, I should just avoid tripping over uh, the tray there. Um, if you can believe it, that was a single split of a uh, Jethatic Sopa. And that's how many of them I've now got. It's something like 24 of them. And those are all in one pot. Quite a big pot, but even so. A few more sundews here. These ones as again, I think if you've done a look at my previous short videos, um, these got really badly frosted, but they look, a lot of them look dead, but they've started to shoot out really nicely and looking really nice now I've potted them up. And again, just a few more of them here. These are mostly the Capensis, whereas I think most of the others were probably Elba. So they're looking really nice at the moment. Um, or what I didn't show you back here which is looking really, really good this year. It got very badly damaged last year. Um, I let it go really overgrown and pot bound. Here is my Kimber Red Ruffles. And she again has got an absolutely massive trap, hood to her trap and the veining in it is absolutely stunning. And she is doing really nicely. So like I say, I'm doing a lot of splitting and tidying up at the moment. Um, I've got to try and at some point work out what I'm going to do with all of these plants. Even though I don't have the two massive trays of Venus fly traps that used to be back here. Um, I still can't. I just still don't have enough space to put the, the Saracenas I'm splitting. But with all the little seedlings I've pricked out and potted up. And all the divisions I'm doing. Oh, one other set of divisions I've been doing. Is actually these ones down here. Um, like I say, I'm completely running out of space, so I've actually got them underneath the bench, which is not ideal, but they do get quite a bit of sun at the beginning of the day. I've got back here some of my uh, Leucophila. Make sure we focus on that one. So again, we've got quite a few back there that um, I need to find a bit more space. I might start putting some of these trays outside. I've actually got a couple of trays outside already. As you can see here, we've already got three trays outside. Getting a little bit battered today in the wind and the wet. 
but this is sort of my overflow at the moment. Uh, most of these are alata, a quite yellow sort of flower. And again, these are a lot of alata crosses or alata that I split. So I hope you found that interesting. Just a quick buzz around the greenhouse, just to show you what um, actually is happening at the moment and some of the new growth. I'll do a video later in the season where we're actually starting to develop a little bit more colour, hopefully, on most of these traps. And some of the ones that are really beautiful, like um, my Joanna Bullock, which has got some stunning veining at the back of the throat. Um, she'll actually be, hopefully, with some of her pictures out. Um, and also some of these other fairly juvenile ones will start to develop a little bit more colour. So I think that'll be really interesting. And um, yeah, do join me again for that at some point. If you like this sort of video, do give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you like it as well. If you've got any comments or things you'd like to see in a bit more detail, do please drop me a comment in the bottom. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.